I can, gang, gang. Hey, yeah, gang, gang. Yes I can, 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 ooh yeah. All dog pull up in a white van, yeah. Hey, slide dog, you know you a hype man. Yes I can, 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 yes I can. Can't see it often as he run past. Coach Matt been serving up the good fast. Check out his hand as I walk in the class. Turning my home phone and so on my past. Start up my warm up because I'm succeed. I get the thing done and I do the math deep. Grabbing these points and I'm making it right. I'm saying hello, I'm catching these flights. If nobody's happy, the class will be happy. And nobody making a friend. Okay, class, one more time. Kiss the colonel and raise your hand if you are sitting down. Yeah, just give me 20 on three. Come on, let's see who the best class is going to be. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the KYC News, Channel 17. Uh, I want to thank all of you for coming in today. I hope you and your family are doing well during this crazy time. And uh, maybe perhaps experience some valuable family time. From what I heard from a lot of you, that uh, you spent some time with your family, brother, sister, whoever, and it's been a good thing. So that's awesome. Hey, I want to thank uh, my daughter, Whitney, at this point for everything she's done in this newscast. Right now, she's behind the screen, shaking her head at me, but without her, none of this would happen. She's been the editor, the uh, designer, the director, the producer, the weather person, and yada, yada, yada. So thank you, Whitney. <laughs> okay, reminders, people. Office hours, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, 12 to 1. Join us if you have any questions, comments, complaints, or you just want to shoot the bull for a while. Uh, Home Fund's going to be due on Friday at 9, and it's very flexible. But if you fall behind, it's going to be a little more challenging for you. Hey, show some grit this week. Uh, the lessons should be easy. And uh, easier, I should say. And uh, continue that growth mindset. Okay, on to the news, people. I got a quote of the day. Here it is from Robert Brault. The quote is, enjoy the little things. For one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. Is that awesome? Foster, can you translate that for us? Or how about DJ? Way to go, DJ. All righty. So enjoy those little things, people. Have time with your family, and who knows what else you're doing right now, but enjoy that. Hey, uh, I have a little clip for you, uh, just an attitude of gratitude. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but uh, I believe it was from last week uh, from New York, and how much appreciation goes out to all the healthcare workers. If uh, any, anyone in your family is in that category, please give them a high five for us because they're really doing hero work. And here's a little clip that you may enjoy right now from uh, New York City. Let's give it up for all those healthcare workers, people. They are, they are truly amazing. And uh, without them, who knows what would be going on. So thank you very much. Hey, uh, let's check the weather right now and see what's happening. Let's go out and see the weather. <laughs> well, hi there. Look at this weather today. It is all around us. Isn't it fantastic? After five straight days of rain, people, it was so nice to get outside. Today, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, a little bit of rain. And maybe next day a little partly cloudy. And I can guarantee this, there's a 99.9% .9 chance of algebra. Back to you at the desk. <laughs> hey, how about that weather report out there? Hey, next up for us, uh, how about those sports? We got a lot of stuff going on. Let's go over to the sports desk, see what's happening. Hey, thank you, Sir Ogdon. Hey, on the sports update today, we have uh, Padres are still undefeated after four weeks. Isn't that fantastic? And if you guys are tired of watching NBA playoff games from 1985, like I've been doing, we have an alternative for you. Check this out. At our family, we've been practicing catching Nerf bullets. Are you ready for this? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Don't try this at home, although that's the only place you should be, but good luck with that. Back to you at the desk. <laughs> All right. Thank you at the sports desk. That was fantastic. Hey, uh, now while we're here, people, we have the algebra news of the day. Uh, this is going to be uh, 
the most important news of the newscast. So let's go over to the algebra desk. Thank you, Sir Ogdog. In, in the world of Algebra 2 this week, we're going to talk more about logarithms. In particular, Module 16 in your book, and it's called, called The Properties of Logarithms. Now, before you even look at this, make sure you know what you're doing on evaluating the log or going from log form to exponential form and vice versa. Judging by the comments I heard this past week, and the home fund that was turned in, I think most of you have a pretty good idea. If not, email me or join me on office hours uh, either Tuesday or Thursday at 12 o'clock. So, let's get started. Now, before we talk about properties, we need to discuss a couple key items. There are two types of logs. One is called a common log, and one is called a natural log. Now, if you look here, A common log has, it's spelled L-O-G, and it has a base 10. And what that means is that little number after the log is called the base. So that's called a base 10. And this, this is on your calculator, and it looks like this, and it's always in a base 10. Now, we also have what we call a natural log, and that is with an L-N. This is also on your calculator, natural log, and this is a base E. I believe we discussed E uh, before we went on the pandemication, and E is simply 2.718, and it goes forever. But natural log is also on your calculator, little base E, and it looks like this, LN. <clears throat> so before we get any started, I wanna make sure you guys know the difference between a common log and a natural log. This is gonna be important for today. So make sure you copy this down and make sure you can know, identify these two buttons on your calculator. Okay, let's go over. There are gonna be seven properties of logs. And hopefully when you're done, you're gonna say, That was easy. <laughs> okay, number one. First property, if I say I'm going to call this log base B, B for base, log base B of A plus log base B of C equals log base B of A times C. So if you have two logs and there's a plus sign between them, you can condense them to one log by just multiplying those two answers together and you get A times C. Comprende? Was that Adele? <laughs> two. If I have log base B of A minus log base B of C, what do you think that's going to equal? We condense those to one log, which is log base B. And if I, when I add it, I multiply those two numbers. If I subtract, what do you, I mean, what do we think I'm going to do those two numbers? I'm going to divide A over C. That's number two. Number three, if I have log base B of A raised to the C power. So when we see the plus sign, we're going to multiply. When we see the subtract sign, we're going to divide. When I see an exponent up here, I can move it in front of the log and multiply. So I get A as C times log base B of A. So far, so good? Oh, yes. Too easy? Yeah. Here we go. Number four. What if we have log base B of A? Now, if you were listening earlier, you know your calculator is in base 10. That's a common log or a natural log base E. If I have a base B and I want to be able to put that in my calculator, I can change this to log base A, I mean log A over log 
B. And you know, there's no, there's no base anymore. That means it's a base 10. If you don't see a base with the LOG, it's a base 10, which now I can put it in my calculator. This is called change of base formula. These are the four main properties of logarithms. Now let me give you three other ones that are good, but not as important maybe as these first four. Number five. Not one, five. If I have log base B of B raised to the A power, we just learned that I could take this exponent and I can move it up here. So now I get A times log base B of B. Now, however, if my base matches my answer, it just equals a one. So my answer for this is just A. That's important, we'll get to that. You'll see what that means later. Number six, what if I have log base B of one? Now we just learned last week that if I put this in exponential form, it would be B to what power equals one? And there's only thing I, only thing I know the exponent's gonna equal one is gonna be a zero. So log base B of one equals Zero. If I have log base 17 of 1, it will equal 0. If I have log base B of 20, it will be 0. Number 7, last one. What if I have B raised to the log base B of A? If I have my base is the same as my log base, what do you think is going to happen? And I'm left with just A. Those are the seven properties of logarithms. Now let's give you a couple examples, and you're on your way. Example number one. Are you ready for this? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, good answer. Okay, D money, what do you think? If I want to expand this logarithm, you may see the word expand. That just means I'm going to separate this into two separate logs. So I go from one log to two logs. Using our properties, we just learned. So first thing, I see log base 6 and w to the 4. What do you think that 4 tells me? I can take that 4 and move it to the front of the log. So I'm going to have 4 log base 6 of w. Just take the, the numerator. Now I have the denominator. What do I do with that three there? I'm going to move it in front. What about that division sign? You remember what we did there? We're going to subtract. So let's go minus. Take that exponent, move it to the front. So we have three log base six of a. Let that simmer. Play it back if you need to. We went from one log to two logs. We just expanded by using the properties. Number two. This time, let's do one a little bit, maybe a little bit easier. Let's go log base 17 of 7 over 4. I see a division. What do I do with that? I'm going to subtract the two separate logs. Right, Raph? Good answer, Raph. So we're going to go log base 17 of 7 minus log base 17 of 4. Cha-ching, bada-ba-bing. Okay, I showed you a couple expansions of logarithms. Now we're going to do some condensing of logarithms. So we're going to basically go backwards. So if I have log base 7 of A minus log base 7 of C, first of all, what do you think that subtraction sign tells you right there? What can I do with those two logs? I'm going to divide the two answers. So I end up with log base 7 of A over, for that subtraction sign, what can I do with that 3? I can move it up there. I get C raised to the third. Congratulations. 
You just condense those two logarithms to one. Let that simmer, and we'll get back to you. Four. Let's go natural log of seven plus natural log of eight plus natural log of two. What do you think all these plus signs mean right here? We're going to go natural log of 7 times 8 times 2. So we end up with natural log of 112. Can we do it? Okay, just a couple more examples, and then we're done with the whole module. What is log base 5 of 5 raised to the 17th power? Well, we know this. We can take that 17, and we can move it in front. So now we have 17 log base 5 of 5. But I told you earlier, what's log base 5 of 5 equal? At 1. My answer is 17. Coincidence? I think not. Number six. What if I had 12 raised to the log base 12 of 17? Think back at your properties. If my base matches my log same base, and I'm left with 17. Last one. Number seven, what if I have log base three of nine raised to the fourth power? This is going to be a big kahuna. First of all, can I change nine so it matches my three? Yes, I can. What if I have log base three of three squared raised to the fourth? What's 2 times 4? It is 8. Now do you know my answer? Log base 3 and 3 cancel. I'm left with a big, chunky 8. Alrighty. Hey, now, this is, a quick, this is a quick summation of properties of logs. If you go through the videos that are on Khan Academy... They will give you maybe a little more detail, but this is a good summary. Go to Khan Academy, try your assignment. Now, before you even dig in here, you should do the review. I call it a quiz. It's not really a quiz. It's going to be on, uh, I believe, the uh, quiz, quizzes, they call it. It should be, the link should be in, the, in your Google Classroom. So do that quiz first. It's not really a quiz. And then... Try the properties of logs. Again, office hours Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to 1. Good luck, people. Keep that growth mindset. Show some grit, and we'll take it back to the desk. Okay, thank you for that algebra news, Mr. Ogden. That was fantastic. Um, now, to summarize our newscast today, people, I just want to give you a number five question. And here's the question. First person to get this we'll get a brand new roll of toilet paper. Here it is. While walking down the beach, Diego met his wife's mother-in-law's husband, husband's only daughter, by his only marriage. Let me say it one more time. While walking down the beach, Diego met his wife's mother-in-law's husband's only daughter by his only marriage. Who was it? Think about that. Email me for that toilet paper. And... Stay strong, people. Stay positive out there. Applaud those healthcare workers, and let's make it a yes-I-can week.